This is strongly contrast the truth. Destruction. Destruction is the means that every people with power use when you want to distract something away from reality. What do I mean about that? Yes. When poverty and greed is going on, let's talk about anything else, like religion or bullshit like that. Uh, in the meantime, lately they're talking a lot about drag queens. Drag queens doing this and drag queens doing that. They want to lose the sense of drag. The funny thing is, why does this come now? Because drag is not something new. They've been drag show for years. We have drag stars for years. From the early 80s, I can fucking remember as I was a kid, and now I'm 48. So, this is a distraction. We're talking about woke. Like, woke is everything right now. Star Trek is starting to get woke. People found out that Star Trek is political. Yeah, oh wow. Wow. You find it now? Star Trek has been political since the 60s. The guy who created it, Gene Roddenberry, had a political purpose. He dreamt about a world where people were kind and better than humankind stripped or something else. There's just money and greed. That was the original plan. That's why he put it in his Star Trek show. Even in the 90s in Deep Space Nine, in an episode of Unions. Yeah. But suddenly, somebody found out that Star Trek is political. It's part of the woke moment. I don't even think what people know what woke means, because woke is not everything. Just say something is woke. Well, like, uh, oh, let's see, drag, woke. Gay rights, woke. Transgender rights, woke. Star Trek, woke. Even Rage Against the Machine is woke. I wonder when people start attacking public enemy for being political. <laughs> yeah. You see the humor here? They have, they have a song called Black Steel about how pe black people are treating in the military. And now, yeah, you know, maybe somebody conservative listen to this fucking segment again, this part, like, oh, is public enemy political? It's always funny. When Rage Against the Machine got it. Yeah. It's like there was some hidden message in their songs. But conservatives, again, never understand. The US Navy ones used the song in the Navy for village people to recruit people to the, to the Marines. Village people. You know that <laughs> straight pride march with good family values kind of music? Yeah, they didn't get it. They never get it. If you listen to old songs from jazz artists, so many from Louis Armstrong to Billie Holiday to Nina Simone, you got you got woke, and you got sex, and you got drugs. They just talk a little bit different about it. It's the same shit. So why is this now? Because they want to distract us from something else. What it is? Well, you can see what's going on. Is war everywhere? The environmental politics. Armageddon and getting closer the same shit show is going on and on and the richest people yeah the richest guy on earth El Musk is talking about how bad he's getting treated how oh his freedom is is threatened he fucking is the richest person in the world this is the bullshit you had to step up against and if you talk about this, you're woke, or you just want a political revolution like Russia and so-called all the shit. Yes. This is the fucking world. Will somebody talk to you about something? Anything. Always think in your mind what is distracting you from. It's like when you try to come home to your wife and tell, why is there new records in your shelf? Um, <clears throat> uh, you look beautiful today there. Yeah. You also want to distract distraction that's all that is about now it's more distraction than ever that's why there are fewer and fewer big companies only more and more narrowing the news segment so you can see as little of the reality as you, you can and just getting your fucking sheep minds to follow their order and pretend it's the government's fault this was Tron, we the truth have a Nice fucking weekend.